This is the thing that cleared my acne. This is the thing that I would recommend to everyone. What's good guys, it's Ida and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Saturday and make sure you turn on notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how I cleared my acne. I have to mention this is not sponsored at all. All the products I put up here are products that I personally use and I personally say that they work. Like I would recommend them to family members, to the nearest, dearest friends. If you haven't already watched it, you might want to watch this video up here about what happened when I came off of the pill after five years. I haven't always had acne. I've always had problems with my skin, but acne only really appeared after I came off the pill for the first time back in 2016. I was on the combined pill for five years. I came off of it back in October 2016, um, and then I started to notice loads of spots appearing, loads of acne, cystic acne around my jawline and my cheeks. In December of 2016, that's when I started to notice it and then it just persisted it persisted and persisted so I decided to then go back on the pill maybe in January or February of 2017 thinking that it would cure this acne make it all disappear but no it continued and I tried all sorts of things to get rid of it I was using black soap on my face I was using the spin brushes you know the ones from like Vanity Planet or whatever where you scrub your face with the brush and I was using that I bought Dr. Bronner's um, what's it called Castile soap and was using that on my face I was using apple cider vinegar on my face I even did a turmeric mask on my face I was doing all kinds of madness and nothing nothing was happening to the point I just gave up I was like okay this is my life I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue with my skin like this. I'm going to learn to love my face and that will be it. Um, but then I, I went off the pill again in October 2017, so that is last year. And I've been off it ever since and yet yeah, my acne continued. It was getting worse, it was crazy, it was cystic all over. And I know it's not enough for me to just say it, so I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. So this one was around the time where I first started to really notice that my skin was bad, and this was January of 2017. As you can see here, it's not the best, guys. It really isn't the best. I had spots all down the sides of my face, all here and here. And you know what? It wasn't too bad when I was looking in the mirror on a day-to-day -day basis, because I would see, you only really see the front of your face. But when I'm filming videos, because obviously I have multiple YouTube channels, so on this channel it's mainly just face to face. When I'm doing hair videos and you see me turn to the side, it's like, whoa. And I'm editing, I'm like, I know your skin is terrible. Or even front one, sometimes I don't notice it until I'm editing a video of myself or I see a picture of myself, I'm like, damn. So that's when I started to really take progress pictures to see if anything was improving, if it was getting worse. Um, yeah, so this one, you can see there's loads and loads of just pimples really, spots, but you can see the cystic ones underneath the skin. Uh, that was on this side of my face. This side has really, really cleared up. As you can still see, I have, I have scarring, which I'm currently working on, but this video is mainly about how I like, cured my acne. I don't have any active acne on my face right now. Once I figure out how to really clear these scars, which I'm working on currently, I'll make an update video. But for now, I'm just gonna show you what my skin was like. So that was the left side of my face. Now the right side of my face, this was the problematic side, like especially my jawline all here was terrible and I would constantly be scratching and picking at my skin and I knew it was bad and people were telling me to stop but I hated it so much that I was just inflicting pain on myself by ripping these spots off. Um, so this persisted and I just got loads of scars, um, the spots would go, the new ones would come, scarring would stay, um, a lot of it has faded away naturally but I still have a lot of the stubborn ones, especially on my cheek here. Like I said, I tried so many things, I was watching so many videos and I remember coming across someone's video and they were talking about acne.org and, and I've been a kind of a skeptic when it comes to products to use on my face because I just figure my face will just do what it wants, you know, it's do my eating habits, whatever happening inside my body. So what my routine was before, whilst I had all these problems, I was washing my body with either Dr. Bronner's, scrubbing my whole body and my face as well with that. Or I was using African black soap on my face and all over my body. Then after washing, I would then moisturize with olive oil, all over my body and all over my face. That was my routine and nothing was getting any better, right? Um, 
So when I was looking at these videos online about how to cure it, this was a while ago, maybe last year I was looking at these videos, and I came across someone talking about Acu.org and I was just like, meh, do I really trust products? I kind of looked at the website and I saw how expensive they were. I mean, it's worth it if you want to help clear your skin, but also it's from the US. So shipping to the UK is money, like almost double the amount of money of the products themselves and then paying customs fee on top of that. I couldn't, I couldn't justify it in my mind. I was just like, no, there's no way I was spending that much money on skincare products. There has to be another way. So then I kind of just forgot about it for a while. And then again, something told me to look up online again for some reason recently. I went back on YouTube, or maybe it was like a suggested video or something, and I saw somebody else talking about Acu.org. I was like, okay, maybe. Let me look back on it again, and I saw the same problem. It was too expensive. But then I managed to come across this like a blog site of the page, like a blog area, and someone was speaking about a list of products that the creator or someone that works for the company had put out. He had like a list of alternative products and what kind of ingredients to look for, what kind of ingredients to avoid. And on that list was these products that I bought. I looked at the list, I looked at what kind of things to look for in the ingredients, and I, and I also looked at their kind of package. They have these products that are used for different things, so there's like a cleanser, something that you use to like kill the spots, then there's a moisturiser, and there's also something to help with the scarring. I think there's like four different products on there. So I decided to look for alternatives myself within my budget and that I could actually actually go out and buy easily. So I came across these two first. I came across Cetaphil, both the Gentle Skin Cleanser and the Moisturising Lotion. So I bought these two from Boots just down the road. I think this one was about, well according to the website right now it's $14.99. Um, but it's on special deal, so it's 9 dollars for the 473mm bottle. I bought this back in May and it is what? September now and it's just now finishing. I could, there's, some, there's some left in there but it's just about finishing. This is my second one of this. I probably should have bought the same size of this one but this was the um, 236ml bottle and I believe this is £8.99 also in boots. This is the moisturising lotion. So those are the first two things that I found and I bought. And then I had to kind of look around for this one. But when I found this one, guys, this is the thing that cleared my acne. This is the thing that I would recommend to everyone. And I spoke about it on my Instagram and people have been asking me about it. And some people have said that it's burnt their skin. Some people said they've had a bad reaction to it. But with me, this is my experience, guys, with me, and I tend to think I have sensitive skin. Well, I have highly irritable skin. Like, I've had eczema, everything. My skin is not the best. So, it worked for me. It didn't burn my skin or anything, but it is this. The benzoyl peroxide gel, 2.5%. So, on the Aki.org website, on the blog post, he talks about it having to be no more than 2.5%, otherwise it will burn your skin and irritate your skin. So I bought 2.5% and when I tell you this is like my third or fourth container or packet or what do you call it, bottle, I don't know what to call this, tube. This is like my third or fourth tube that I bought from them and this is the biggest one I was but the ones I was buying was a lot smaller than this and I think they recently put this in their inventory this size but I've been using this this is what has saved my life so in terms of my routine in the morning and at night I would use two parts of this you could it says you can use it on a dry or wet face I always do it when my face is wet so I wet my face put two pumps and I rub it in my hand it doesn't feel like so it doesn't laugh rub or anything like that it literally is like putting cream on your hands or like conditioner or something and then I just go across my face there's a video on um, the Acu.org YouTube page which talks about how to use their products and it speaks about not scrubbing your face not using these spin brushes because it tends to irritate the skin even more and then cause more acne and more spots and that made sense to me because my skin was getting irritated more when I was using that so it talks about just being soft on your face smooth you know just touching it as little as possible wash the face 
dab it, dab it a little bit with a towel and then use this cream or the, any benzoyl peroxide that you find. Use this and put it on the affected area. Let it dry and then if needed, put on the moisturizing lotion. So on May 19th, this was my face on May 19th. It was the day of the royal wedding. It was also a cousin's birthday and a friend's birthday and I was going to a birthday party. So I had ordered this from eBay. I'll put all the links down below. I found it on eBay. I ordered it. The smaller tube was like $3.99 or something ridiculously cheap. I'm telling you, my budget is low. This is all, what, 20 something pounds all together for these three products. I put this on my face. When I first got it, I literally, because it said to put it on the affected area. At that moment in time, my whole face was affected. So there's a video on Acne Not that I mentioned. I'll put it down in the description below. It tells you how to put on these products. So I put it all over my face, all over, and I just let it dry. And I went on about my day. Sometimes it starts to peel off. When you have too much on your face, you will peel it like, someone will be like, I know you got some, some bits on your face. It will peel off. So I would have to, you know, scrub it off, whatever. Every morning and every night for a few weeks, I did this routine. And I started to look in the mirror. I said, hmm, I think your skin looks different. But don't say anything until somebody else mentions it. And then one day my boyfriend was like, Ada, your, your skin's improved. I was like, yes. I could not tell you guys how happy I am that I found these products. So I had to come on here and share them with you. So like I said, I use this every day and I'm still using it now, but less and less of this. So like I said, I bought a smaller tube and I, within two weeks or a week, the tube was done because I was literally using so much of it on my face every single day and every single night. And the acne had just gone. Like it basically what it does, it kills the bacteria that causes the acne. So it just went right. And now, Every morning and night, I still use two pumps of these and when needed, I moisturize with this. No longer am I using olive oil on my face because that just blocks up all kinds of things on your skin. So I don't use that on my face anymore. I may use it on my body, but most times I just use this. So I use this and I only use this when needed. So now when there's a spot, I will put it on there and within a few days, it will be gone. Pretty much every video in the past month I've filmed, edited and put up on the same day. So you can see that one in one video, on the Tuesday I might have a spot somewhere. And then on the Saturday it's gone. Do you know what I'm saying? And then on the Tuesday again, there might be another one somewhere. But the next video it's gone. Like, it literally, some spots are more stubborn than others, don't get me wrong. Some will stay there and linger for a bit longer. But as long as you're not picking at it and you're just using this, it will be fine. Um, everyone's skin is different, I have to say that. Everyone's skin is different, so your skin might react differently to how mine reacted. But if yours is like mine, then this would work for you. And literally, all I have now is scars. And right now, my skin is the smoothest, the clearest it has been in over a year. And for me, that is amazing. So right now, I'm content with my skin. Of course, I still have major scarring, but that's fading. And I know once that's gone, my skin will be free. So obviously, this wouldn't be a how I cleared my acne video without any comparison, side-by-side -side pictures and clips. So here they are now. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Everything will be in the description box below. And once I clear my scars, I'll be back to update you on my skincare routine. Until next time guys, peace, love.